So a lot of us may have end up in the scenario where someone smells our perfume and says to us, ah, nice perfume, I love oud. But did they actually know how real oud smells? So what exactly is oud? The smell of oud found in perfumes originates from essential oils from something called agar wood. Agar wood is predominantly used in Arab countries for incense burning, but in the West is typically used as an ingredient in perfumery. Agar wood originates from a tree called the Aquilaria tree, which is typically found in parts of Southeast Asia. However, not all of these trees produce agar wood. Agar wood is formed when the tree is infected by this type of mold and it starts to produce this resinous type of sap. So this sap essentially mixes with the wood and becomes agar wood. And the older the infected tree is, typically the higher quality of agar wood inside it contains. So now we know where agar wood comes from. People can just get it and use it in their perfumes, right? Not exactly. The Aquilaria trees only have around a 7% chance of becoming infected to produce that resinous sap. People do try to artificially infect the tree by inoculating it with the fungus so it can produce that sap that turns into agar wood. But that's a story for another day. Not only that, but the Aquilaria tree is at risk of becoming endangered because of over harvesting and habitat loss. This means that not only is agar wood rare and hard to come by, but the price of first grade agar wood chips are worth more than their weight in gold. This is why perfume companies skip out on using actual oud within their fragrances and just use ingredients and notes that emulate the scent itself instead. Many of us think we know how the smell of oud smells like, but in reality, we don't. The smell you really experience when smelling our old perfume is more of a barnyard smell. It's a very pungent and strong smell which lingers around you a good while after you've sprayed it. Now I've been told that if you leave this perfume on for a while it starts to transform into this heavenly aroma that you can't get with anything else. But personally I've just ended up trying to wash it off my skin because I don't particularly like that initial smell. However, in more expensive and masterfully blended perfumes, I'm told that you get less of that initial barnyard scent in the beginning and more of that luxurious heavenly oud aroma afterwards at the end of the perfume's life. And this is because it's mixed with other ingredients which usually mask that initial smell. So you may be wondering, what perfumes actually have oud in them? Mason Francis Kagajan, Oud Satin Mood, By Rado Oud Immortal, Incense Oud by Killian, Dolce and Gabbana Velvet Desert Oud, Armani Privé Oud Royale. These perfumes do not have oud in them, but they're some of the best perfumes that are out right now which contain synthetic oud. Now there's nothing necessarily wrong with synthetic oud because the fragrances I just named probably will end up costing 10 times more at least if they contain real oud in them but of course synthetic oud doesn't come close to the complexity of the real thing. Now there are a few websites I've come across who sell authentic oud the most prominent one being Insar Oud. Not only do they offer some great literature and details about the Oud scent, but some other scents as well. Some other websites that I've also come across which seem to sell authentic Oud are Sultan Al Oud, Granda Wood, and Ega Wood Indonesia. Some of these websites even offer a small sample of Oud if you want to test out and experience the scent for yourself. If you know of any other places which you can find authentic real oud, leave it in the comments. I'll probably have all the stuff I mentioned in the description below. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. So next time you come across a perfume label that says oud on it, maybe you'll think twice to if it actually contains that luxurious scent.
Thank you for watching and stay blessed.